minutes, and our lenders are always ready to answer any questions. Visit www.ourlocalbank.com on your computer or mobile device and get started today. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. When you need to rely on a nursing facility for the care of a loved one, wouldn't it be comforting to know that the owner is providing the care? I'm Stephanie Bean, and at Medicalogist Coffeeville, we are. Skilled nursing services, rehabilitation, adult daycare, and much more are available. Visit us at medicalogist.com or at 720 West 1st Coffeeville. Medicalogist Coffeeville, we serve and enhance the lives of others with caring hands. At CRMC Medical Group, our primary care physicians and providers focus on ways to keep you and your family in good health, as well as care for them when they're not. Our family medicine and women's health physicians are accepting new patients. We have convenient office locations in Coffeeville and Independence with extended and Saturday hours in Coffeeville. If you need a physician or need to make an appointment, please call 620-688-6566. That's 620-688-6566. Get more and pay less at Gillum Liquor and Coffeeville, where you'll find ELP, everyday low prices. Now shop Gillum for Tito's Vodka, just $20.99, Gold or Silver Bacardi Rum, $20.99, and Captain Morgan Spice Rum, just $26.99. Why not try Kahlua, save $8, only $39.99, Sky Vodka, $24.99, and the 750 size of Blade & Bow Whiskey, only $45.99. ELP, everyday low prices. The area's largest selection, coldest cooler, and friendly, helpful service, you'll find it Gillum's Retail Liquor, 1713 West 8th in Coffeeville. Bill. Make your home more comforting with help from Derailed Commodity. Update your flooring with the area's largest selection of in-stock carpet, luxury vinyl plank, tile, area rugs, and more in many styles, brands, and colors. New furniture always brightens a home. We have a great selection of furniture, including sofa sets, recliners, and mattresses. Economy to premium, in stock and ready to brighten your home. Shop now at your local Derailed Commodity Flooring and Furniture, Brazelton in Independence, Kansas, and Joplin and Butler, Missouri. Helping you move forward. That's what Coffeeville Community College does. Whether you want to increase your ability to advance at work, learning to earn a two-year, or just want to expand your horizons, Coffeeville Community College can help. And CCC is flexible, offering a traditional college setting. Fast eight-week classes or even online classes. CCC can meet your needs your way. Call CCC at 620-251-7700 or visit them online at coffeeville.com. Edu. We are Coffeeville Community College. This is Jeff Edwards from Romans Outdoor Power. At Kubota, we want to help you deliver a job done right. That's why we want you to know that new Kubota inventory is arriving daily. You have work to do. We have the reliable, durable, and versatile lineup to help you do it. Visit Romans Outdoor Power today for all your equipment needs. Come see Mike and Kevin in Bartlesville or Jeff and Chance in Independence. Buying a home? Refinancing? Apply for a home loan anytime, anywhere with Community State Bank. Our online mortgage tool is easy to use. You can be pre-approved in minutes and our lenders are always ready to answer any questions. Visit www.ourlocalbank.com on your computer or mobile device and get started today. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. When you need to rely on a nursing facility for the care of a loved one, wouldn't it be comforting to know that the owner is providing the care? I'm Stephanie Bean, and at Medicalogist Coffeeville, we are. Skilled nursing services, rehabilitation, adult daycare, and much more are available. Visit us at medicalogist.com or at 720 West 1st Coffeeville. Medicalogist Coffeeville, we serve and enhance the lives of others with caring hands. We return to Nellis Hall here on the campus of Coffeeville Community College. It's sophomore day, the final home game of the regular season. Red Ravens hosting the Seward County Saints. I'm Shane Hill. Happy you're with us here this afternoon. Game one of our final doubleheader of the regular season here on KUSN and YouTube. Of course, we'll have one more regular season game at Northwest Kansas Tech. Happy to be here today, though. And let's get into this one. Of course, a lot on the line. Red Ravens come into today 17-11 on the season, 13-9 in conference play. Seward County 
14 and 15 on the year, 12 and 11 in conference play. Stephen Kyler alongside with me. Stephen, this t- these two teams have a lot to play for, of course, with a win today. Seward can make it really p- tight as we come down the home stretch of the season, but with a win today, Coffeyville can cement themselves as the five seed and clinch that home game in Nellis Hall. Big time opportunity today for these sophomores. Yes, indeed. And I really hope they can secure this fifth seed because I really w- will miss doing this with you, Shay, because right now, as they're announcing the lineup, sure, like Seward, they just got to play really good defense both on the, and good offense as well. Got to crash the boards. You know, the essentials. No doubt about it, and it's going to be uh, whoever really does the, the nitty-gritty stuff. We saw right... Uh, Wright State. That's where I went to college. <laughs> we saw Coffeyville beat Pratt on Wednesday because they did the nitty gritty well. They won the rebound battle. They had committed fewer turnovers. Yeah. They dished out more assists. They did the little things they needed to do to win that game. They're going to need to do that again today to beat the Saints. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Especially with how close they are to Coffeyville. And, but knowing Coffeyville with, with the height that we have out here against, against Seward, I, I guarantee you it'll be a victory. And if not, then Seward played a really good at the ball game. Absolutely. Let's get starting lineups here for you on KUSN. Happy you're with us, whether you're on air or on the YouTube channel. We're excited to be with you all afternoon long. Starting lineups first for the visiting Seward County Saints. Starting at guard, a 5'9 freshman, number three, Kylie Hunt. Starting at guard, a 5'7 sophomore, number four, Halima Salat. Starting at guard, a 5'8 sophomore from Los Angeles, California. Number five, Diara Allen. Starting at forward, a six-foot freshman from Wichita. Number 22, Tiana Wynn. Starting at guard, a 5'9 sophomore. Number 24, Deshanti Thomas. For the Red Ravens, they mix it up. It's an all-sophomore lineup here on sophomore day for Tony Turner. Rocking the turtleneck suit combination. Yes, sir. And pulling it off, I might say. Woo. Starting at guard, a 5'6 sophomore, number one, Notori Graham. Starting at guard, a 5'9 sophomore, number four, Mackenzie Davis. Starting at guard, a 5'4 sophomore, number 11, Kanaya Starks. Starting at forward, a 5'10 sophomore, number 23, Jordan Connor. And starting at four sophomore, number 42, Cheyenne Banks. Seward County in the black with the green trim. Coffeyville in the white with the red trim. It will be the Saints off the tip. Here we go one final time in Nellis Hall this regular season. Kylie Hunt with the basketball works it left. This is Diara Allen. Now Salat, top of the key. It's good. And Halima Salat knocks it down and Seward County off to a strong start. Kenzie Davis with the basketball as she crosses the midline. Works it to Connor. Connor to Starks. All sophomore starting five today for the Red Ravens. This is Mackenzie Davis. Davis on the right wing. Swings it to Connor. Connor will attack. Connor going right at the defense and a travel to call. A lot of contact there. No foul call. So Seward County knocks down a three. And then commits the turnover. So 3 nothing Saints. They have the basketball. We're just underway. Salat has the basketball now. Works it right. This is Deshanti Thomas. Salat with it again. And that's an offensive foul that will be called against Tiana Wynn. Illegal screen the call. Coffeyville led by fourth-year head coach Tony Turner. Seward County led by third-year head coach Todd Chiquetto. Kanaya Starks crosses the midline. Ravens down three early. Starks to Connor. Connor right back to Starks. They try to get it down low to Banks. Nice pass inside, and Cheyenne Banks. The score off the assist from Mackenzie Davis. 3-2 3-2 Seward early in this one. Thomas the drive, looking for a pass. Gets it to Halat. And what's the call there? That'll be a travel. So Red Ravens have forced turnovers on back-to-back possessions with the offensive foul and then the travel. Now a chance to take the lead here. All sophomore starting five today. Graham, Davis, Starks, Connor, and Banks. Davis drives baseline, gives Coffeyville the lead. Mackenzie Davis 
has an assist and a score. Davis making an impact early. 4-3 Ravens, we're two minutes in. Win going right at Banks. Gets tangled up, tries to go up with the right hand, left it short. Connor the rebound, here come the Ravens the other way. Connor hands it off, Davis. Ravens trying to play fast. They lead it by one. Tony Turner's team trying to clinch that five seed. Banks, what a pass from Connor. And four points early for Cheyenne Banks. Ravens on a 6-0 run. This is Kylie Hunt. Hunt working to the right elbow, spins into the paint. Fake the shot, now will take the shot. That three strong, rebound. Connor got a hand on it, but can't come away with it. Pull up jump shot is good from Diara Allen. Connor had a hand on that ball, could not get it. 6-5 our score as Seward knocks down their second shot. This is Tori Graham. Graham works her way right. That's deflected, handed off to Davis. Davis working off a screen. Nice decision to pass there. Starks. Step back, puts it up, puts it in! Kanaya Starks from downtown. No hesitation, drills it from the right wing. Hunt, step back from the free throw line, it's off, rebound Connor. Ravens on a 9-2 run and that's a foul against Kylie Hunt. First foul against Hunt, second foul against the Saints. Ravens have gone from down three in the first 20 seconds to up 9-5. As we'll have a substitution, number 23, Ariana Escalante checks in. As does number three, Kiana Cover. Graham hands it off to Davis. Davis gets a screen, puts it up, puts it in! The sophomores going off early in Nellis Hall, and they lead it by seven. Storks with a three, Davis with a three. That pass thrown to me. Got a hand on it, couldn't quite secure it. I'd probably get benched for the turnover. But you know, that's why I'm here and not on the floor. Inbounds here, Davis looking for a pass, tries to get it into Starks and finally does. Four minutes in, 12-5, a 12-2 run for the Red Ravens. Starks, crossover move, works left, hands it off to Connor. Connor works it to Davis, Davis, screen. Davis puts it up again, and it will get the roll. Nine point lead early for the Red Ravens. Tony Turner squad coming out red hot. Three pointer to answer, good from Salat. Salat's so second three of the first quarter. Seward trying to hang with a Red Raven team that's come out firing. As Kennedy Roach will move to the scorer's table. Banks inside, fight for the basketball, and it's come away with by D.R. Allen. Seward County coming the other way. This is Thomas. They get it down low to Coburn, and that shot is too strong. Rebound Starks. Starks brings it up. Ravens 14, Seward County 8, halfway through the opening quarter. What a fun one we've had to start sophomore day. Ravens by 6 with the basketball. This is Davis. Inside Connor, wild shot. It's off. Got it back. Hands it off to Davis, got to get a shot off. Three seconds, Starks have to put it up, does, and it left it short. Here come the Ravens trying to get back on the defensive end. They lead by six. Pull up jump shot by Allen is short. Davis can't get it, but Graham does. Graham brings it across the midline. Jordan Connor crossover move, works inside, hands it off to Banks. And Banks will go up and score it. Ravens by eight, 16 to eight as we come down to four minutes to go in the opening quarter. Nice move there by Salat. That three by Allen is way off. Coburn on the glass. Back out to Allen. 
trying to set it up for Thomas for three. That shot off. Banks pulls down the rebound. Here comes Kanaya Starks. Ravens with a chance to go up double digits. What a start to this one for the Red Ravens. Davis, Connor. Connor fakes, hands it off to Starks. 15 to shoot. Jordan Connor attacking. Connor going up with the right hand, puts it in. 18 points already for the Ravens. Still three and a half to go in this opening quarter. 18 to eight, they lead by 10 early. Allen, off, rebound Connor. This first quarter continues to tick away. Connor, fake by Graham. Graham the drive, Graham goes up, no. In and out, Ravens try to get back on the defensive end. Three minutes to go, first quarter. Coffeyville up by 10, 18 to eight. They're on an 18 to five run. This is Thomas, Deshanti Thomas with it, guarded by Torrey Graham. 15 to shoot for the Saints. Thomas moves to her right, blocking foul the call. Tony Turner wanted an offensive foul, he does not get it. That'll bring us to immediate timeout, 2.46 to go, opening quarter. Ravens 18, Seward County 8. We've had a fun one to start this afternoon. We're back in 90 seconds. There's focus on ways to keep you and your family in good health as well as care for them when they're not. Our family medicine and women's health physicians are accepting new patients. We have convenient office locations in Coffeyville and Independence with extended and Saturday hours in Coffeyville. If you need a physician or need to make an appointment, please call 620-688-6566. That's 620-688-6566. Don't pay more than you have to on fine wine and spirits. Gillum Liquor and Coffeeville has ELP. Everyday low prices. Now 1.75 liter bottles of Jack Daniels, only $53.99. Black Velvet, $16.99. And Pendleton, just $42.99. Or shop Jim Beam, only $29.99. Crown Royal, $53.99. Seagram 7 Crown, $20.99. And Evan Williams, just $26.99. ELP. Everyday low prices. The area's largest selection, coldest cooler, and friendly help. That's Gillum Liquor, $17.30. 13 West 8th in Coffeeville. Make your home more comforting with help from Derailed Commodity. Update your flooring with the area's largest selection of in-stock carpet, luxury vinyl plank, tile, area rugs, and more in many styles, brands, and colors. New furniture always brightens a home. We have a great selection of furniture, including sofa sets, recliners, and mattresses. Economy to premium, in stock and ready to brighten your home. Shop now at your local Derailed Commodity Flooring and Furniture, Braselton in Independence, Kansas, and Joplin and Butler, Missouri. We return here to Nellis Hall, 2.38 to go in the opening quarter. Diara Allen hands it off, this is Salah. Salah steps back, looking for a pass, hands it off to Escalante, and offensive foul. So Red Raven basketball here now, 2.29 to go. In the first, Tatana Woods blackout, Kylie Ortiz, Bailey Lehman. Kennedy Roach and Jordan Snyder, the five out there right now for Coffeyville. Tatana, or Kylie Ortiz, excuse me, for three. Ortiz's shot is off. Lehman on the offensive glass. Big rebound, second chance opportunity for the Ravens. Roach hands it off to Lehman. Lehman will drive, hand it off to Woods Blackout. Nice fake. Tatana coming off of 16 in the last game. And Bailey Lehman shot in and out off a nice pass there by Woods Blackout. Ravens lead at 18-8, extra pass, Escalante. No good, and that, excuse me, it was number 20, Aliana Cologne. That pass deflected by Roach. Thomas will come away with it, 10 to shoot. Seward County got to get a shot to Shanti Thomas, spinning great defense by Snyder, and the rebound cleared out by Kennedy Roach. Ravens up 10, 90 seconds to go, first quarter. Ortiz down low to Snyder. Snyder backing down one on one. Goes up to the right hand. No good. Here come the Ravens back the other way. Minute 15 to go. Going coast to coast and laying it in is Diara Allen. Tough finish inside by Allen. Eight point lead for the Ravens. Kylie Ortiz. This is Bailey Lehman down low to Snyder. Nice move. Snyder shot rolls off. Here comes. Seward County the other way. Under a minute to go in this first quarter. That shot is good. 
Three from Allen. Allen scored the last five. And Seward's back within five. Tatana Woods Blackout splits a double team. Pass to Snyder. Extra pass, but could not get it to Kylie Ortiz. And Cheyenne Banks will come in for Snyder. And we'll have a new player in for Seward County. That's number 13, Naomi Aragonez. Yara Allen with it, gets the screen from Tiana Wynn. Allen, not that time, left it short. Lehman the rebound, under 30 seconds to go first quarter. Woods Blackow stops in the corner, hands it off to Lehman, that's Ortiz, excuse me, Roach for three. Kennedy Roach, you bet! Stops the bleeding with a three-pointer, and puts the Ravens back up by eight. Step back, this is Thomas, guarded by Roach. Thomas hands it off. Driving is Aragonez. Puts up a tough shot, and it rolls off. First quarter in the books. It's a good one for the Ravens. Our score after one, Coffeyville 21, Seward County 13. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Increase your ability to advance at work, learning to earn a two-year or just want to expand your horizons. Coffeyville Community College can help, and CCC is flexible, offering a traditional college setting. Fast eight-week classes or even online classes. CCC can meet your needs your way. Call CCC at 620-251-7700 or visit them online at coffeyville.edu. We are Coffeyville Community College. This is Jeff Edwards from Romans Outdoor Power. At Kubota, we want to help you deliver a job done right. That's why we want you to know that new Kubota inventory is arriving daily. You have work to do. We have the reliable, durable, and versatile lineup to help you do it. Visit Romans Outdoor Power today for all your equipment needs. Come see Mike and Kevin in Bartlesville or Jeff and Chance in Independence. Back here at Nellis Hall, first Nellis quarter Hall, in the books. Red Ravens lead it 21-13 after shooting 56% in the first quarter. I'm Shane Neal, Stephen Kyler alongside with me. Great start Yo. for the Red Ravens, Stephen. Yes, sir. What do they got to do to keep it up here in quarter number two? Just keep finding those open looks inside. I mean, you got Cheyenne Banks out there who's already dominating the glass with four points. I think that's what it said. Cheyenne's oh, got oh, six points. Six points. See, I can't do math very well. But then you also have uh, Jordan Connor who has four rebounds already for herself. So... Raven basketball here as we start the second quarter. Kennedy Roach swings it to Lehman. Lehman will look for the pass down low to Banks. That one was poked, but a foul was called. And the foul will be against, looks like that's on number three, Kylie Hunt. And that'll be her second. Inbounds coming here for the Red Ravens. Yeah, in the first quarter, Seward had four turnovers already, and we, as we had three, so we're, we're causing them to create turnovers. This is Kylie Ortiz working at left. Good look for Roach. Nice pump fake. Roach the drive. Roach will put it up. And got the roll. Kennedy Roach with a quick five points. She scored the last five for the Red Ravens. And their lead back up to ten. Nice. Pass inside goes and intercepted by Lehman. Lehman coming the other way. Tatana Woods Blackout hands it off to Ortiz. Now Roach with it on the left side. Down low trying to get it to Banks. Banks goes up, can't get the roll, tries to tap it out, but it's taken by Deshanti Thomas. Coming the other way, Diara Allen for three. It's good. Allen's been sharp today. She's already got 10. Allen and Salat have scored all 16 points so far for Seward County. Roach. This is Bailey Lehman, Kylie Ortiz, and that'll be a foul. Is it on Allen? Yes, it is. Allen's first foul of the day. And 
so it'll be Red Raven basketball now underneath. 8.47 to go in the second quarter. Ravens up seven. Inbounds goes to Lehman. Lehman steps into one on the mid-range. It's good. <laughs> Bailey Lehman knocks down the jump shot on the baseline to put the Ravens up 25-16. Kylie Hunt looking to penetrate inside. The pass gets to win, but a foul will be called. Connor and Roach, the two defenders in there. The foul will go against Kennedy Roach. So an inbound here for Seward. They have 20 on the shot clock. Inbounds goes to Thomas. Thomas plants the feet. Nicely picked up by Roach. Thomas on the right elbow. Roach right there, hand off to Hunt. Hunt trying to get around Woods blackout, draws contact on the way up. Foul called on Titano, Woods blackout. That'll be her first foul, and now free throws coming for Kylie Hunt. Seward County a game and a half back in the Jayhawk Conference standings. Need to win today to keep their chances at the five seed alive. She missed the first one, now she's going to shoot her second from the charity stripe. For sure, second free throw coming here for Kylie Hunt. And it's good. Eight point edge for the Red Ravens, 25-17. Hunt, the first player not named Slaughter, Allen, to score for Seward today. Pass to the corner, this is Kylie Ortiz working at top of the key, they work it around, Woods Blackout winds up, fires a little strong, rebound taken by Allen. Here comes Diara, handing it off to Salat. Now Hunt. Hunt looking for a pass, gets it to Thomas. 15 to shoot for Seward. Thomas. And that's gonna be another foul called on the floor. And this one called on Jordan Connor. Connor's first foul of the afternoon. Mackenzie Davis checks back in for Bailey Lehman. Inbounds will go to Tiara Allen, but off the fingertips, nearly lost it. Got it back. 15 to shoot here for Seward. They're down by eight. And a foul again. This one on Kylie Ortiz. So the Ravens racking up the fouls here in the second quarter. As we'll see number 23, Ariana Escalante check back in for Seward. Another inbounds, we'll try again. Inbounds goes to Wynn. Now Thomas gets it to Allen. Allen down low to Wynn, double team comes immediately and the ball's lost out of bounds, Coffeeville basketball. Way to go there by the Red Ravens to cause another turnover. Raven. We have no turnovers in the second quarter as Seward has two. Raven defense looks strong so far today. Kennedy Roach will adjust the jersey. Roachwoods, Blackout, Davis, Connor, and Ortiz. Ortiz, the five out there. Tana Woods, Blackout hands it off to Kylie Ortiz. Now Jordan Connor with it as they work right. Mackenzie Davis gets a screen. Extra pass, Ortiz, good look for three. That's a little short, and Thomas clears out the rebound. Here come the Saints the other way. They trail by eight, Escalante. Picked up by Woods Blackow. Now Thomas hands it off to Allen. Allen guarded very closely by Kylie Ortiz. Now a little bit of space. Allen works right. They switch. Fake by Escalante. That's a good look and the shot no good by Thomas. Rebound Connor. Ravens want to push. Jordan Connor coming the other way. Shot no good. Got a hand on it. Out of bounds. Raven basketball. That was Connor's fifth rebound already in only two quarters. Banks will come back in, coming in for Kylie Ortiz. Now so had, the Ravens bring yeah. in a big again. Now you had two dominant rebounders on the floor for the Ravens. How is we going to handle that? Could be difficult because they are playing a smaller lineup. Their biggest player right now out there, Arleana Colon. And that one thrown away. Here comes Allen the other way. Allen stops on a dime, puts it up, and it rims out. 
Offensive rebound fought for, but it's taken by Escalante. As they work it back to the top of the key, this is Allen. Allen, step back, puts it up, left it short. Rebound taken by Kennedy Roach. 6.15 to go, first half, Ravens 25, Seward County 17. With a win, the Ravens clinch the five seed. Connor goes up, tough finish with the right hand, no good, it rims out. Ravens have gone a little bit cold here in this second quarter, looking to get their groove back offensively. Good look for Cologne, it's off. And out of bounds, it will stay with the Saints. It almost looked like it could have been an over the back foul there by Seward, but they didn't call it. Tory Graham comes back in for the freshman, Tatana Woods Black Owl. Tory got the start today along with Kanaya Starks. As they will look to inbound it, they do get it in to Salat. Three pointer, top of the key, got the bounce. It's Cologne. Aliana Cologne cuts the lead to five. Seward not going away in this second quarter. Here's Jordan Connor. Tory Graham nearly had it slip through the hands, got it back. Connor to Kennedy Roach. Roach looking for a pass. Roach, Davis, good look, top of the key, and Mackenzie Davis. Ten points in this first half for Davis. That's a big shot. Ravens lead back up to eight. Drive, floater, Escalante fouled from behind by Tory Graham. Second foul on Tory Graham. Bailey Lehman will come back in. So Escalante will shoot two shots here for the Saints. First free throw, good. 28-21 our score. One more free throw to come. 5-14 to go second quarter. It is Ariana Escalante at the free throw line. Giant Banks secures the board after it missed. Davis brings it up past half court. Davis hands it off to Bailey Lehman. Lehman works her way right, Jordan Connor. As we cross the halfway point here in the second quarter, Davis, Davis to Lehman, Lehman, three, good. Bailey, Bailey Lehman as the Ravens continue to hit timely threes. In this first half, they try to move fast the other way. Three by Cologne, rims out. And the rebound taken by Jordan Connor. Ravens trying to push with a 10 point lead. Hand off, this is Kennedy Roach. Bailey Lehman, top of the key. Lehman works her way to the left elbow. Roach down low, Banks. Double team comes, Banks trying to get rid of it. Connor able to keep it alive. Davis gets a screen, Davis feeling it. Shot went, but it's an offensive foul against Connor. Jordan Connor called for a second on a moving screen. That brings us to immediate timeout. Our score, Red Ravens 31, Seward County 21. We're back in 60 seconds on US 98 and YouTube. I guess we're, I guess we're staying here. We're staying here during this timeout break. Four. Five to go in this first half. Ravens lead at 31 time, 21, timely three-pointers. From Coffeyville so far in this first half. Bailey Lehman's played well. Mackenzie Davis has played exceptional as well. Ravens lead it by 10. Now let's try again. Let's step away for 30 seconds. We'll be right back. Apply for a home loan anytime, anywhere with Community State Bank. Our online mortgage tool is easy to use. You can be pre-approved in minutes, and our lenders are always ready to answer any questions. Visit www.ourlocalbank.com on your computer or mobile device and get started today. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Back here, 425 to go here in the first half. Ravens lead at 31-21. I'm Shane Neal here on US 98 and YouTube. This is Diara Allen. Allen looking for a pass. Gets it to Cologne. Cologne swings it. That's nearly intercepted by Bailey Lehman. So 
So we'll see Tiano in, check back in for Seward. Off a screen to Shanti Thomas, step back, jump shot, tough shot, no good, rebound Banks. Coming the other end, this is Lehman, pass to Starks. Lehman, top of the key, deep, three, good. Bailey Lehman. Starting to light it up from downtown. Ravens by 13, their largest lead of the afternoon. Thomas, spinning, lost it, banks the steal. Here comes Kennedy Roach. 3.15 to go in this first half. Ravens lead at 34-21. Davis, Starks. Back to Lehman. Lehman feeling it. Fakes this time. Pass to Starks. Now Kennedy Roach. Roach driving. Kicking corner. Lehman. And this time whistled for the move. Shuffle of the feet. Kylie Ortiz checks back in for Coffeeville. It's 34-21, the largest lead of the first half for the Red Ravens, 13. With a win, of course, the Red Ravens clinch the five seed. They're off to a good start in that regard. Trying to sweep the season series with Seward County. That's going to be a carry and a turnover. So Raven basketball, 2.40 to go in this first half. Davis swings it. This is Lehman Ortiz. Nice catch there, almost a bad pass. Davis trying to look for a pass. Ortiz, what a fake, but a travel called there. So three straight possessions with turnovers here in this one. And now this is... Kylie Hunt. Hunt gets a screen. Hunt works to the left elbow. Hunt the drive, the scoop shot, and a foul called late. I believe that'll be on Lehman. And it is. So Raven, uh, Ravens give the foul, and now free throws coming. First one is good from Kylie Hunt. Hunt now two of three at the line here today. Second free throw good as well. Inbounds play. Ravens lead at 34-23, 2.16 to go first half. Mackenzie Davis looking for a pass, gets it to Starks. Starks will bring it up. Ravens by 11, they've led by as much as 13. Davis, Davis has 10 in this first half. Ortiz, Bailey Lehman, down low to Banks. Banks trying to get positioning, spinning, going up, no but a foul. And Cheyenne Banks will go to the free throw line for the first time today. Foul was called on win. That's her second. <laughs> Cheyenne Banks at the free throw line. First one is off. Second free throw coming for Banks. Second one is good. Seward County with the ball down by 12. Win. Nice backdoor cut by Allen who lays it in. Diara Allen, another score. She's had a great first half for the Saints, really keeping them in this game. 
Woods Black, Al Bailey, Lehman, now Kylie Ortiz. Ortiz has been quiet in this first half. Goes to the floater there, and on cue, Kylie Ortiz puts it up and in. 37-25, Ravens by a dozen. Thomas works it to win. Win fakes the shot, hands it off to Hunt. 15 to shoot for Seward. They've trailed the majority of this first half, and they throw that one away. So here comes Tatana Woods Blackout. We go under a minute to go in this first half. Ravens by a dozen. Bailey Lehman's been sharp in this first half as well. Lehman Davis have both been very good. Davis has it now. Nice move inside. Davis again. 12 in the first half for Mackenzie Davis. What a going away party. Three pointer on the other end is off. Offensive rebound taken by Kylie Hunt. Second chance here for Seward. Hunt working against Lehman. Hunt hands it off. This is Diara Allen. Allen's been the best player for Seward so far today. Allen could again. Diara Allen, that is a two. Ravens lead down to 12. They can hold for the final shot. Three is good again for the Ravens. And they have 42 in the first half. They have a 15 point lead at the break. What a first 20 minutes inside Nellis Hall. Red Ravens 42 and Seward County 27. Our score at the break, let's step away for nine minutes. When we come back, we'll break down the first half. Get you ready for the second half here on KUSN and YouTube. We're back in nine. care of a loved one, wouldn't it be comforting to know that the owner is providing the care? I'm Stephanie Bean, and at Medicologist Coffeeville, we are. Skilled nursing services, rehabilitation, adult daycare, and much more are available. Visit us at medicologist.com or at 720 West 1st Coffeeville. Medicologist Coffeeville, we serve and enhance the lives of others with caring hands. Horner. Ladies, the floor is yours. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, continuing your halftime entertainment, we have the hot and cold content. Vendors are always ready to answer any questions. Visit www.ourlocalbank.com on your computer or mobile device and get started today. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. When you need to rely on a nursing facility for the care of a loved one, wouldn't it be comforting to know that the owner is providing the care? I'm Stephanie Bean, and at Medicologist Coffeeville, we are. Skilled nursing services, rehabilitation, adult daycare, and much more are available. Visit us at Medicologist.com or at 720 West 1st Coffeeville. Medicologist Coffeeville, we serve and enhance the lives of others with caring hands. At CRMC Medical Group, our primary care physicians and providers focus on ways to keep you and your family in good health, as well as care for them when they're not. Our family medicine and women's health physicians are accepting new patients. We have convenient office locations in Coffeeville and Independence with extended and Saturday hours in Coffeeville. If you need a physician or need to make an appointment, please call 620-688-6566. That's 620-688-6566. Get more and pay less at Gillum Liquor and Coffeeville, where you'll find ELP, everyday low prices. Now shop Gillum for Tito's Vodka, just $20.99, Gold or Silver Bacardi Rum, $20.99, and Captain Morgan Spice Rum, just $26.99. Why not try Kahlua, save $8, only $39.99, Sky Vodka, $24.99, and the 750 size of Blade & Bow Whiskey, only $45.99. ELP, everyday low prices. The area's largest selection, coldest cooler, and friendly, helpful service, you'll find it Gillum Retail Liquor, 1713 West 8th in Coffeeville. Make your home more comforting with help from Derailed Commodity. Update your flooring with the area's largest selection of in-stock carpet, luxury vinyl plank, tile, area rugs, and more in many styles, brands, and colors. New furniture always brightens a home. We have a great selection of furniture, including sofa sets, recliners, and mattresses. Economy to premium, in stock and ready to brighten your home. Shop now at your local derailed commodity flooring and furniture. Brazelton in Independence, Kansas, and Joplin and Butler, Missouri. Helping you move forward. That's what Coffeeville Community College does. Whether you want to increase your ability to advance at work, learning to earn a two-year, or just want to expand your horizons, Coffeeville Community College can help. And CCC is flexible, offering a traditional college setting. Fast eight-week classes or even online classes. CCC can meet your needs your way. Call CCC at 620-251-7700 or visit them online at coffeeville.com. EDU. We are Coffeeville Community College. This is Jeff Edwards from Romans Outdoor Power. At Kubota, we want to help you deliver a job done right. That's why we want you to know that new Kubota inventory is arriving daily. You have work to do. We have the reliable, durable, and versatile lineup to help you do it. Visit Romans Outdoor Power today for all your equipment needs. Come see Mike and Kevin in Bartlesville or Jeff and Chance and Independence. Buying a home, refinancing, apply for a home loan anytime, anywhere with Community State Bank. Our online mortgage tool is easy to use. You can be pre-approved in minutes and our lenders are always ready to answer any questions. Visit www.ourlocalbank.com on your computer or mobile device and get started today. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Welcome back to Nell's Hall, home of the Red Ravens. I'm Stephen Kyler here, and I'll be doing the first half stats for you this afternoon here on this Saturday. At the end of the first half, the Ravens lead 42-27 to here with 7.40 left to go here before the third quarter. Let's break down the stats. Field goals for Seward, total field goal percentage was 31%, going 9 of 29. Three-point was 5 for 16 with 31.3%. And then for free throws in the first half was 4 for 6 with 66.7%. For the Ravens now, we have total field goal at 7 for 17 of 29, 58.6%. First half, three-pointers made, 7 of 11, 63.6%. In first half, free throws, they only took two free throws in the first half, making it only 50%. And with the leading scores right now, we have for Seward, 
We have 14 with Diara Allen, 6 with Halima Salat, and, and 3 with Kylie Hunt. For the Red Ravens, we have 15 for Mackenzie Davis, 2 for Kylie Ortiz, 8 for Bailey Lehman, and 7 for Cheyenne Banks. And now, we'll be right back here in about, oh, five and a half minutes. And whenever we come back, Shay will take over. Oh, keep going? I'm going to keep going, actually. So, I hope you all are enjoying today, because I know I have. Right now, it, let's see the upcoming schedule. On sun, Saturday, the 4th of March will be the first playoff game. And then on Wednesday, March the 1st, the women and men will play at North Ca West Kansas Tech at Goodland. And now, let's try this again. We'll be right back here in about five minutes to continue more on the second half with Shea O'Neal, or as I call him, Shea Keel O'Neal. When you need to rely on a nursing facility for the care of a loved one, wouldn't it be comforting to know that the owner is providing the care? I'm Stephanie Bean, and at Medicalogist Coffeeville, we are. Skilled nursing services, rehabilitation, adult daycare, and much more are available. Visit us at medicalogist.com or at 720 West 1st Coffeeville. Medicalogist Coffeeville, we serve and enhance the lives of others with caring hands. At CRMC Medical Group, our primary care physicians and providers focus on ways to keep you and your family in good health, as well as care for them when they're not. Our family medicine and women's health physicians are accepting new patients. We have convenient office locations in Coffeeville and Independence with extended and Saturday hours in Coffeeville. If you need a physician or need to make an appointment, please call 620-688-6566. That's 620-688-6566. Don't pay more than you have to on fine wine and spirits. Gillum Liquor and Coffeeville has ELP. Everyday low prices. Now 1.75 liter bottles of Jack Daniels, only $53.99. Black Velvet, $16.99. And Pendleton, just $42.99. Or shop Jim Beam, only $29.99. Crown Royal, $53.99. Seagram 7 Crown, $20.99. And Evan Williams, just $26.99. ELP. Everyday low prices. The area's largest selection, coldest cooler, and friendly help. That's Gillum Liquor, $17. 13 West 8th in Coffeeville. Make your home more comforting with help from Derailed Commodity. Update your flooring with the area's largest selection of in-stock carpet, luxury vinyl plank, tile, area rugs, and more in many styles, brands, and colors. New furniture always brightens a home. We have a great selection of furniture, including sofa sets, recliners, and mattresses. Economy to premium, in stock and ready to brighten your home. Shop now at your local Derailed Commodity Flooring and Furniture, Brazelton in Independence, Kansas, and Joplin in Butler, Missouri. Helping you move forward. That's what Coffeeville Community College does. Whether you want to increase your ability to advance at work, learning to earn a two-year, or just want to expand your horizons, Coffeeville Community College can help. And CCC is flexible, offering a traditional college setting. Fast eight-week classes or even online classes. CCC can meet your needs your way. Call CCC at 620-251-7700 or visit them online at Coffeeville. Edu. We are Coffeeville Community College. This is Jeff Edwards from Romans Outdoor Power. At Kubota, we want to help you deliver a job done right. That's why we want you to know that new Kubota inventory is arriving daily. You have work to do. We have the reliable, durable, and versatile lineup to help you do it. Visit Romans Outdoor Power today for all your equipment needs. Come see Mike and Kevin in Bartlesville or Jeff and Chance in Independence. Buying a home, refinancing, apply for a home loan anytime, anywhere with Community State Bank. Our online mortgage tool is easy to use. You can be pre-approved in minutes and our lenders are always ready to answer any questions. Visit www.ourlocalbank.com on your computer or mobile device and get started today. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. 
When you need to rely on a nursing facility for the care of a loved one, wouldn't it be comforting to know that the owner is providing the care? I'm Stephanie Bean, and at Medicalogist Coffeeville, we are. Skilled nursing services, rehabilitation, adult daycare, and much more are available. Visit us at Medicalogist.com or at 720 West 1st Coffeeville. Medicalogist Coffeeville, we serve and enhance the lives of others with caring hands. At CRMC Medical Group, our primary care physicians and providers focus on ways to keep you and your family in good health, as well as care for them when they're not. Our family medicine and women's health physicians are accepting new patients. We have convenient office locations in Coffeeville and Independence with extended and Saturday hours in Coffeeville. If you need a physician or need to make an appointment, please call 620-688-6566. That's 620-688-6566. Why pay more when you can pay less at Gillum Liquor and Coffeeville with ELP Everyday Low Prices? Now shop Olay Bourbon and Rye, 750 size, only $26.99. Or proper 12 Irish Whiskey and Apple Irish Whiskey, only $25.99. Gillum's has great wine selections too, like Barefoot and Pink Moscato, 1.5 liters, only $13.99. The 750 size of Balatori Grand Spumante, just $8.99. And all flavors of Stella Rose 750 is only $12.98. ELP Everyday Low Prices. The largest selection, coldest cooler, and helpful folks are at Gillum Liquor. 1713 West 8th Street in Coffeeville. Make your home more comforting with help from Derailed Commodity. Update your flooring with the area's largest selection of in-stock carpet, luxury vinyl plank, tile, area rugs, and more in many styles, brands, and colors. New furniture always brightens a home. We have a great selection of furniture, including sofa sets, recliners, and mattresses. Economy to premium, in stock and ready to brighten your home. Shop now at your local Derailed Commodity Flooring and Furniture, Brazelton in Independence, Kansas, and Joplin in Butler, Missouri. Second half, getting ready to get started here on US 98 and Second YouTube. I'm Shay Neal. Appreciate Stephen Kyler for helping us out with the halftime report. It'll be Seward County basketball as we get the second half started. 42-27 Ravens lead here on KUSN. It's sophomore day. And we're happy you're with us. Kylie Hunt with the basketball. And now Kylie Hunt works it down low. Hunt in the corner. 10 to shoot for the Saints. Hunt, step back, jump shot short. And Banks able to rip it away. Here comes Tatana Woods Blackout. First possession of the second half for the Ravens. Jordan Connor with it now. Connor to Woods Blackout. Ravens have their largest lead of the day, 15. This is Kennedy Roach. Roach, Connor, Ortiz, Woods, Blackout, and Cheyenne Banks, the five out there. Ortiz floaters off. Connor almost got it, almost also com committed her third foul. Kylie Hunt bringing it the other way. No points on the first two possessions of the half. Allen way off. It's off the backboard. No good. Didn't even get rim. Tatana Woods, Blackout with the basketball now. We're just over a minute into the second half. Ravens 42, Saints 27. Roach the drive, Roach offensive foul. Charge taken by Kylie Hunt. So that's a foul on Kennedy Roach. Ravens have come up empty on their first two possessions in the second half. Three there, good. And that's Salat, who now has nine. Lead down to 12. Three is good for Tatana Woods Blackout. Ravens back up to a 15 point lead. And now this is Seward County basketball as they work it into the corner. Roach with good closeout defense there. Three-pointer is off, oh, rebound taken by Kylie Ortiz. Ortiz coming the other way. Kylie looking for a pass, not to Tana Woods Blackout with it, hands it off to Kylie Ortiz. Ortiz step back, puts it up for three. Kylie Ortiz! Lethal from beyond the arc, knocks it down. Kylie Hunt stops and starts, cut off by Ortiz. 
Hunt, step back, jump shot, tough shot over Banks is good for Kylie Hunt. Seward County has scored five since the start of the second half. Ravens have scored six. Right now it's Coffeyville by 16. Roach gets a screen, hands it off. Tatana Woods Blackout coming around a screen, trying to get it to Jordan Connor. That pass is high. Three minutes into the second half. Our score 48 32. Happy you're with us here on KUSN and YouTube. This is Kylie Hunt. Hunt, the screen, step back, jump shot on another tough shot. It's good. Kylie Hunt starting to heat up for Seward. And the lead back down to 14. Connor looking for a pass, gets it to Ortiz. Ortiz now to Tatana Woods Blackow. As they swing it cross court, Ortiz step back three short. Rebound taken by Jordan Connor. Second chance opportunity. Connor trying to go inside. And now we'll kick it back out. What's Black Owl? Fake by Roach. Roach the drive. Roach the kick. Five, eight to shoot here for the Ravens. Ortiz driving. Ortiz to the hook. No good. Rebound collected by Deshanti Thomas. Seward County's got it down to 14. They continue to try to battle back. Davis moves to the scorer's table for Coffeyville. This is Diara Allen. Allen to Thomas, that's a very tough shot, and it's way off, rebound to Ortiz. They push ahead, we're four minutes into the second half. Connor going right at Thomas, missed the shot. Jordan Connors had a little bit of a quiet day offensively. Three by Allen is off again, rebound Connor, she's done that at a high level. Here comes Tatana, Woods Blackow. Five and a half to go, third quarter, Ravens 48. Seward 34, nearly pass into a triple team, and a foul will be called against Seward. That'll be on Tiana Wynn. Couple subs, we'll have Mackenzie Davis check back in for the Ravens. In for Seward, number 33, Kiana Coburn, and number 23, Ariana Escalante. So Raven basketball here as they look to inbound it. Lehman coming off a screen, gets the inbounds, fakes the three. Bailey works right, hands it off to Kennedy Roach. Roach will get a screen from Davis. Roach working to the left side. This is Lehman, 10 to shoot. Bailey Lehman, step back, good look for three. Bailey Lehman left it short. Rebound collected by Escalante. Allen on the left wing, works her way to the free throw line, now kicks it out to Salat. Salat driving, kicking, Escalante the fake. Thomas as the Seward County Saints look to continue to chip away. They're down by 14. They've trailed by as much as 18. Salat the drive, the kick. Good ball movement here, but no looks opening up. Allen puts up a tough shot and missed it. Offensive rebound by Coburn. They'll have a chance to reset. 15 on the shot clock. Allen, step back, puts it up, left it short. And Woods Black Alley able to clean up the rebound. Four and a half to go, third quarter. Here comes Tatana. Stop and start move. Lehman for three, and it's strong. Rebound taken by Salat. Ravens have gone cold again here in the third quarter. Looking to hang on to this double-digit lead. Colburn puts it up, no good. Here come the Ravens again. Now 4.07 to go, third quarter. Bailey Lehman. Hands it off to Kennedy Roach. Roach to Mackenzie Davis. Davis to Roach. Roach, great look. The sophomore fires, and it's off. Out of bounds, Seward County basketball. Media timeout, 3.55 to go, third quarter. Red Ravens 48, Seward County 34. Ravens trying to close this one out. Quinch the five seed. Will they be able to do it? We're back in 90 seconds. 
What Coffeeville Community College does. Whether you want to increase your ability to advance at work, learning to earn a two-year, or just want to expand your horizons, Coffeeville Community College can help. And CCC is flexible, offering a traditional college setting. Fast eight-week classes or even online classes. CCC can meet your needs your way. Call CCC at 620-251-7700 or visit them online at coffeeville.edu. We are Coffeeville Community College. This is Jeff Edwards from Romans Outdoor Power. At Kubota, we want to help you deliver a job done right. That's why we want you to know that new Kubota inventory is arriving daily. You have work to do. We have the reliable, durable, and versatile lineup to help you do it. Visit Romans Outdoor Power today for all your equipment needs. Come see Mike and Kevin in Bartlesville or Jeff and Chance in Independence. 3.55 to go third quarter. Red Ravens with the basketball and a 14-point lead. I'm sure. 3.55 Neal. to go third quarter. US 98 and YouTube. Kansas State Wildcats over on the Mighty 690 today. They're up 65-60 on Oklahoma State. About five minutes to go in that one. Jayhawks just about to tip with West Virginia here in a few minutes. Seward County basketball now as they bring it up. Down by 14. It's a lot. Good look for Allen. It's good. Diara Allen again. What a day she's had. It's down to an 11 point game. Layman looking for a quick answer. You bet. Bailey Layman with the quick three on the other end. Ravens 51, Seward 37. 325 to go in the third. Escalante driving, working left, had it poked by Lehman. Here comes Bailey Lehman the other way. Defense to offense, the layup is good. Lehman having a great day here on sophomore day. The freshman is stealing the show. A pass off of Coburn. Handoff, Allen, way strong. Rebound by Escalante and a foul with 2.52 on the clock. Foul was called on Lehman, as we'll see Kylie Hunt check back in for Tachiketto. Inbounds goes to Salat. That three is good. Four three of the day for Salat. Davis. Ravens were able to answer last time. That time Davis didn't send it. Hands it off to Woods Blackow instead. Two and a half to go. Third quarter, Ravens 53, Seward 40. With a win, the Ravens clinch the five. Can they do it? Davis, it's good! Mackenzie Davis from downtown. Ravens continue to shoot lights out from beyond the arc. Spin move by Allen. Allen cut off nicely by Tatana. Woods Black Owl. Hunt spinning. Blocked by Lehman. Lehman gets the rebound. Ravens try to push ahead. Davis. And Davis will slow it down. We go under two to go. Ravens with the ball up by 16. They've led by as much as 18. Connor with it now. Jordan Connor handoff to Woods Black Owl. Big screen set. Layman in the corner, puts it up. That shot off, rebound Kennedy Roach. Roach is fouled on the baseline. Ravens starting to get momentum back. Foul was called on Salat. Tori Graham checks back in for Coffeyville and Aliana Colon checks in for Seward. Raven basketball, they lead by 16. Connor crossover move, hands it off to Davis. 12 to shoot, Davis step back again. Not that time. Heat check there for Mackenzie Davis. Minute 25 to go in this third quarter. Thomas the drive, tough shot with the right, no good. Rebound Connor and Connor traveled. Turnover, Jordan Connor got the rebound and Took a couple steps before dribbling the ball. So right back to Seward it goes.
Minute 19 left in this third quarter. Fred Raven trying to get a stop on the defensive end. Roach playing defense now on the ball and Salat as they hand it off. Salat again. Roach staying right in front. Double team comes, they get it to Thomas. Thomas working against Davis. Tough shot and a foul is called. It'll be on Davis. Free throws coming for Seward with a minute six to go. I think they're changing the foul call to Torrey Graham. So free throws here for Thomas. First one is good. One more free throw here as Chiquetto has a conversation with the officials. Free throws are good for Thomas. Raven basketball. They look to push. Kennedy Roach fakes the shot. Roach the drive. Roach puts it up. No good. Connor on the glass. And it's good. Jordan Connor puts it up and in. Her 10th rebound of the day, and it turns into some points for the Red Ravens, 58-42. Three there, no good. Rebound collected by Coffeyville. Ravens looking to move in transition. Graham hands it off to Roach. Now Lehman with it. Tori Graham with it now, works her way back to the middle. Seven to shoot for the Ravens. Graham, crossover move, got a screen. Graham, Roach, got to put a shot up. Roach is blocked. And the rebound collected by Seward. They can hold for the final shot. Thomas with it. And the clock expires. We go to the fourth quarter. Our score, Red Ravens, 58. And the Seward County Saints, 42. Let's step away for 90 seconds. We'll be right back on KUSN. Buying a home, refinancing, apply for a home loan anytime, anywhere with Community State Bank. Our online mortgage tool is easy to use. You can be pre-approved in minutes and our lenders are always ready to answer any questions. Visit www.ourlocalbank.com on your computer or mobile device and get started today. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. When you need to rely on a nursing facility for the care of a loved one, wouldn't it be comforting to know that the owner is providing the care? I'm Stephanie Bean, and at Medicologist Coffeeville, we are. Skilled nursing services, rehabilitation, adult daycare, and much more are available. Visit us at medicologist.com or at 720 West 1st Coffeeville. Medicologist Coffeeville, we serve and enhance the lives of others with caring hands. At CRMC Medical Group, our primary care physicians and providers focus on ways to keep you and your family in good health, as well as care for them when they're not. Our family medicine and women's health physicians are accepting new patients. We have convenient office locations in Coffeeville and Independence with extended and Saturday hours in Coffeeville. If you need a physician or need to make an appointment, please call 620-688-6566. That's 620-688-6566. Fourth quarter here from Nellis Hall. Red Ravens lead at 58-42. They're 10 minutes away from clinching the five seed in the Jayhawk Conference Tournament. I'm Shay Neal. Happy you're with us here for a doubleheader on this Saturday. Good look for Graham. It's short. Connor on the glass. Davis has the basketball now. Davis the drive and a travel. So turnover on the first possession of the fourth quarter. Sewer County basketball for the first time here in the fourth. This is Kylie Hunt. Now with it is Allen. This is Hunt, excuse me. Now Allen with it. Allen down low. Thomas the spin. Thomas the shot. No good. Rebound Banks. 
About a minute into the fourth quarter, Ravens lead it by 16. Jordan Connor hands it off to Kylie Ortiz. Ortiz trying to get a pass to Graham, but it's intercepted. Tony Turner not happy with that pass decision there. As here they come the other way. Cologne for three in and out. Connor yet another rebound. That's 13. And Banks down low missed the shot. Fighting for the rebound and a jump ball is called. Cheyenne Banks had a great look, could not get it to go. And now Seward County gets the ball back. 58-42, 8.37 to go. Cologne for three again, this time it goes. It's Aliana Cologne trying to answer, it's good. Ortiz plus the foul and a chance at the rare four point play. Fouls on Hunt. Ravens can feel that five seed getting closer and closer. So one free throw here for Kylie Ortiz. Ravens lead at 61-45. And the free throw is good. Ravens by 17, 8.23 to go. Here's the pass by Hunt, looking for a feed. Hands it off. Allen, step back, very tough shot. And it's off. Offensive rebound. Three by Salat, no good. Battle for the ball again. Banks has it, but it's ripped away. Cross court pass, Allen. We go under eight to go. Shot inside, no good. How about another offensive rebound? Cologne for three, way off. And finally out of bounds, Red Raven basketball. And they're gonna change it to a foul. Connor's third. Kennedy Roach comes in for Cheyenne Banks. Also see Tatana Woods Blackout come in for Tory Graham. Seven forty-eight to go. Ravens up seventeen, but struggling to get rebounds here in this fourth quarter. It will be Seward County basketball as they inbound it to Thomas. 20 on the shot clock. Allen the drive, goes right at Davis, draws a foul. 7.43 to go, Tony Turner wants a carry call, does not get it. And free throw's coming for Allen. Allen at the free throw line, two shots. First one on the way and off. One more free throw for DR Allen. Ravens leading by 17 here in the fourth quarter. Second free throw is off. Rebound, Ortiz got a hand on it. Salat comes away with it, missed the three out of bounds. And after six shot attempts, Seward County comes up empty. Escalante checks back in. And we'll also see Naomi Aragonez check back in. Woods Blackout brings it up. And a blocking foul will send Tatana to the free throw line. Fouls on Escalante. Free throws coming for Tatana. Let's black out.
First free throw, no good. Second one coming for Tatana. And got it. 18 point lead, their largest of the game. With 7.25 to go. Three pointer by Salat is good. Seward County just refusing to go away. They stay right around that 12, 15 point mark. Kennedy Roach, Kylie Ortiz, 63-48 Red Ravens lead. Connor, what a move but couldn't finish. Here comes Seward the other way, nice fake. Stopping on a dime, Salat now trying to find a pass. Thomas the drive, Thomas. And a jump, a foul is called on Jordan Connor. That's going to be her fourth. With 6.49 to go. So free throw, or excuse me, it'll be an inbounds play here for Seward. Cheyenne Banks called for a foul. And now free throw is coming for Thomas. Ravens up by 15, but Seward County continues to battle. First free throw rims out. One more free throw to come here for Thomas. Deshante Thomas, it's good. 63-49, 6.40 to go. Ravens have a lead, but Seward's fighting hard in this fourth quarter. Ravens need to find a way to put it away. Kennedy Roach to Davis, and we'll have a media timeout called with 6.34 to go. A little early for a media timeout, a little surprised by that. Ravens lead it. 63 to 49 here we've got six and a half minutes to go in the fourth quarter we're gonna step away see if we can get our connection reset we'll be back in just a few minutes here on us 98. you've been listening to coffee bill community college red raven basketball on your home for red raven sports us 98 KUSN. Red Raven Basketball is brought to you on US 98 by Medical Lodges, Community State Bank, Leeds Cooling and Heating, Romans Outdoor Power, Coffeeville Community College, Derail Commodity, and Roman Chevy Buick. Red Raven Basketball on US 98 is an exclusive production of KUSN Radio Sports.
bucket good by Kennedy Rose. Seward County knocks down a pair of free throws as we return with 5.23 to go. I'm Shane Neal, it's US 98 and YouTube. We appreciate your patience. We're trying to work through some connection inconsistencies here on this Saturday, and we'll continue to work through that. But obviously, we have a game to finish out. 67-54, Red Ravens up by 13. Tatana Woods Blackout brings the ball across the midline, splits a double team. Tatana can't hand it off to Cheyenne Banks. That's a turnover. Tony Turner knows what's at stake for his team here today. A win and you clinch the five. This team's got a lead, they gotta hang on to it. So much on the line. Tony said it himself, every single game feels like a playoff game right now for his team. Salat, nice fake, the drive, nearly lost it. Hands it up to Thomas, Thomas. Plants the feet, Thomas goes up, way short. Rebound, Connor. Roach crossover move, crosses half court. Hands it off to Tatana Woods Blackout. Kennedy Roach trying to get open off a screen. Now Roach has it. Davis right back to Roach, 10 to shoot. Roach the drive, the kick. Ortiz, Ravens need a shot. Four to shoot. Woods Blackout fouled. Foul was called on Escalante. Timeout on the floor. We'll take one in the booth. We'll be right back in 60 seconds. Keyville, where you'll find ELP everyday low prices. Now shop Gillum for Tito's Vodka, just $20.99. Gold or silver Bacardi Rum, $20.99. And Captain Morgan Spice Rum, just $26.99. Why not try Kahlua, save $8, only $39.99. Sky Vodka, $24.99. And the 750 size of Blade & Bow Whiskey, only $45.99. ELP everyday low prices. The area's largest selection, coldest, colder, and friendly, helpful service. You'll find it Gillum's Retail Liquor, 1713 West 8th in Coffeeville. Make your home more comforting with help from Derailed Commodity. Update your flooring with the area's largest selection of in-stock carpet, luxury vinyl plank, tile, area rugs, and more in many styles, brands, and colors. New furniture always brightens a home. We have a great selection of furniture, including sofa sets, recliners, and mattresses. Economy to premium, in stock and ready to brighten your home. Shop now at your local Derailed Commodity Flooring and Furniture, Braselton in Independence, Kansas, and Joplin and Butler, Missouri. 427 to go in this one here from Nellis Hall. Game one of our two-game doubleheader on this Saturday. I'm Shane Hill, it's US 98, and you two happy you're with us here today. Final home game of the regular season, sophomore day for the Lady Ravens. The men celebrated their sophomore day on Tuesday or Wednesday. Inbounds goes to Davis. Ravens have 20 on the shot clock. Davis to Kennedy Roach. Roach with it, works her way to the middle. Hands off to Kylie Ortiz. Eight to shoot. Ravens looking again for a pass. Roach. Great defense here by Seward. Three seconds. Ortiz has to throw it up. It's blocked. And that's a shot clock violation. It's like, it's like right after where like the camera and the tripod meet. Four oh four to go. Ravens by thirteen. Salat 
Works her way to the middle, guarded by Ortiz. Thomas might have gotten away with a travel there, hands it off to Hunt. Hunt has it ripped away by Davis. Woods blackout coming the other way after a big defensive play by Mackenzie Davis. Tatana guarded closely by number 13, that's Naomi Aragonez. Davis, eight to shoot. Davis trying to go baseline. Davis looking for a pass. Kylie Ortiz got to get a shot off, does, and it's off the rim, no good. Rebound collected by Hunt. Down near three minutes to go, 3.09. Ravens hanging on to a 13-point lead, trying to survive this afternoon. Hunt. Hunt goes up, draws a foul, and Tatana Woods blackout hit the deck after the play. Looks like everyone's okay. Third on Tatana Woods blackout. Banks and Lehman back in for the Red Ravens. Coming in for Davis and Connor. 327 left in this one now. First free throw up and good. One more free throw here for Hunt. Chance to cut it down to 11 and it's good. Sixty-seven, fifty-six, just under three minutes to go. Woods Blackout, crossover move. Hands it off to Kennedy Roach. Roach to Lehman. Ravens have gone cold offensively, need a few scores to put this one away. Roach going up with the right hand, no. Banks got a hand on it. And it's kept alive by D.R. Allen. Here comes Seward, a chance to cut it to single digits. Allen all the way is fouled by Roach. Roach is third, and with 2.27 to go, more free throws coming for Seward. Number 25, Nellie Matawald into the game for the Saints. Free throws here for DR Allen. First one is good. One more free throw here for Allen. It's good, nine point game. Seward chipping away as we come down to 225 to go. Ravens still up nine, but Seward's got some momentum. That's taken away and laid in. Timeout called by Tony Turner. Seward County trying to save their season. And this one's gotten good quick, 67-60. Let's step away for 60 seconds. Your community college does. Whether you want to increase your ability to advance at work, learning to earn a two-year, or just want to expand your horizons, Coffeyville Community College can help. And CCC is flexible, offering a traditional college setting. Fast eight-week classes or even online classes. CCC can meet your needs your way. Call CCC at 620-251-7700 or visit them online at coffeyville.edu. We are Coffeeville Community College. This is Jeff Edwards from Romans Outdoor Power. At Kubota, we want to help you deliver a job done right. That's why we want you to know that new Kubota inventory is arriving daily. You have work to do. We have the reliable, durable, and versatile lineup to help you do it. Visit Romans Outdoor Power today for all your equipment needs. Come see Mike and Kevin in Bartlesville or Jeff and Chance in Independence. Cheer and dance squad. 2.16 to go here from Nellis Hall. Game one of our doubleheader on US 98 and YouTube. Happy you're with us. Ravens lead at 67-60. Seward on a big run right now, though, closing the gap. They've trailed by as much as 18 today. Now the lead down to seven. 
It is Raven basketball. Roach needing to find a pass. Gets it into Ortiz. Right back to Roach. Ravens looking to bring it up the court here. 2.10 to go. Black Owl trying to get it to Kennedy. Roach throws it away. Here comes Seward the other way. And it's stolen right back. Tatana Woods, Black Owl, a huge defensive play. That might end up saving the game. <laughs> Minute 45 to go. Woods Black Owl down low to Banks. Banks goes up and lays it in. Big score inside. Is that enough to give the Ravens the five? That shot is good and a quick timeout taken by Seward. Big shot by Salat. We're step away for 60 seconds. We'll be right back. Buying a home, refinancing, apply for a home loan anytime, anywhere with Community State Bank. Our online mortgage tool is easy to use. You can be pre-approved in minutes and our lenders are always ready to answer any questions. Visit www.ourlocalbank.com on your computer or mobile device and get started today. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. When you need to rely on a nursing facility for the care of a loved one, wouldn't it be comforting to know that the owner is providing the care? I'm Stephanie Bean, and at Medicologist Coffeeville, we are. Skilled nursing services, rehabilitation, adult daycare, and much more are available. Visit us at medicalogist.com or at 720 West 1st Coffeeville. Medicalogist Coffeeville, we serve and enhance the lives of others with caring hands. Foul call on Seward Foul as we return from the timeout. Time time. That'll be on Deshanti Thomas. Cologne checking in for Seward. Cologne comes in for Mattawald. Jordan Connor at the free throw line. Jordan Connor's been very up and down at the line this year. Struggled against Pratt. Big free throws here for the sophomore. First one up and in and out. One more free throw for Jordan Connor, the sophomore out of Tulsa. Ravens by six, trying to survive here today. Second one is good. Ravens up seven, we go under 90 seconds to go. Kylie Hunt, Layman Honor, three, Thomas, it's off, no good, rebound Connor. Big empty possession there. Ravens will be able to burn clock. They already have a seven point lead and Roach is fouled with a minute 15 to go. That's one of the better players Coffeyville could send to the line, Kennedy Roach. Thomas called for her second and it will be Roach shooting free throws. Kennedy Roach at the line, two shots. First one. Good. One more free throw for Kennedy Roach. Ravens lead it by eight. Seward County has punched, screamed, kicked in this fourth quarter trying to come back. They're now down by nine as Roach hits two big free throws. Saints running out of time. Three pointer, good. And another quick timeout. It'll be a 30-second timeout. We'll take it with them. We're back in 30 seconds. 72-66, 66 66 seconds to go. Primary care physicians and providers focus on ways to keep you and your family in good health, as well as care for them when they're not. Our family medicine and women's health physicians are accepting new patients. We have convenient office locations in Coffeeville and Independence with extended and Saturday hours in Coffeeville. If you need a physician or need to make an appointment, please call 620-688-6566. That's 620-688-6566. One of six to go One here. Now it's all Red Ravens leading 72-66. What a fun fourth quarter we've had. Ravens played very well for three quarters. First time these two teams played, it was tight for three quarters, and Coffeyville pulled away in the fourth. This time, Ravens were in control for three quarters, and now Seward has come storming back in the fourth. 
And there's a foul on the inbounds play. Cologne comes back in for Mattawald. Who was fouled? It was Kylie Ortiz. So Ortiz will go to the line. Big free throw here. Big free throws here. One of them would put them up three scores once again. Seward's hitting threes here today. First one is good from Ortiz. 73-66, a minute six to go. One more free throw. Kylie Ortiz. Yes. Big free throws from the freshman, Kylie Ortiz. Layman out, Mackenzie Davis in. As the Ravens look to get a defensive stop that could maybe end this thing. Let's go down under a minute to go. Hunt. One minute left. Hands it off. Allen, deep three. It's off. Connor pulls down the rebound. And a foul is called. That'll send Jordan Connor back to the line. 54 seconds to go. Her third personal foul. Jordan Connor shooting for Coffee. Connor at the line. Ravens by eight, two free throws coming. We'll still have the guys game immediately following, but this has been one heck of a game one. Connor. First free throw on the way from the sophomore, yes. With a win, the Ravens clinch the five, would play the 12 seed here at Nellis Hall a week from today, and would try to punch their ticket to the second round of the regional tournament. Two free throws from Jordan Connor, Lehman back in for Davis. 50 seconds to go. Seward down by 10, Hunt. And the pass sails wide. That's a turnover and that might do it. And now Davis and Connor will trade spots. Tony Turner putting his best free throw shooters out there. Ravens inbounding up by 10, 47 seconds to go. Ortiz gets it to Woods Blackow. They cross half court. 40 seconds left. Woods Blackow tight ropes the baseline. Double team comes. Pass cross court to Lehman. Lehman back out to Ortiz. Precious time ticking away for Seward. Ortiz, Davis. Seven to shoot for the Ravens, but they're burning plenty of clock. Ortiz, maybe the dagger. No, fought four, kept alive, Ortiz, Lehman, Woods Blackow, and now they might be able to dribble it out. Red Ravens defend home court one final time this year. They move to 18 and 11, and they will be the five seed in the regional tournament. Final score, 76-66. Ravens over Seward County, they complete the sweep. And they go into the playoffs with momentum. One final regular season game coming up on, two, on Wednesday. But the Ravens get to smile as they leave the home court for the final time this regular season. Let's step away for a few. We'll break it down on the other side. And Tony Turner will join us just around the corner. Don't go anywhere. Red Ravens 76, Seward County 66. We're back in five minutes. Low prices. Now 1.75 liter bottles of Jack Daniels, only $53.99. Black Velvet, $16.99. And Pendleton, just $42.99. Or shop Jim Beam, only $29.99. Crown Royal, $53.99. Seagram 7 Crown, $20.99. And Evan Williams, just $26.99. ELP. Everyday low prices. The area's largest selection, coldest cooler, and friendly help. That's Gillum Liquor, 1713 West 8th in Coffeeville. 
Make your home more comforting with help from Derailed Commodity. Update your flooring with the area's largest selection of in-stock carpet, luxury vinyl plank, tile, area rugs, and more in many styles, brands, and colors. New furniture always brightens a home. We have a great selection of furniture, including sofa sets, recliners, and mattresses. Economy to premium, in stock and ready to brighten your home. Shop now at your local Derailed Commodity Flooring and Furniture, Braselton in Independence, Kansas, and Joplin and Butler, Missouri. Helping you move forward. That's what Coffeyville Community College does. Whether you want to increase your ability to advance at work, learning to earn a two-year, or just want to expand your horizons, Coffeyville Community College can help. And CCC is flexible, offering a traditional college setting. Fast eight-week classes or even online classes. CCC can meet your needs your way. Call CCC at 620-251-7700 or visit them online at coffeyville.com. Edu. We are Coffeeville Community College. This is Jeff Edwards from Romans Outdoor Power. At Kubota, we want to help you deliver a job done right. That's why we want you to know that new Kubota inventory is arriving daily. You have work to do. We have the reliable, durable, and versatile lineup to help you do it. Visit Romans Outdoor Power today for all your equipment needs. Come see Mike and Kevin in Bartlesville. For Jeff and Chance and Independence. Buying a home? Refinancing? Apply for a home loan anytime, anywhere with Community State Bank. Our online mortgage tool is easy to use. You can be pre-approved in minutes and our lenders are always ready to answer any questions. Visit www.ourlocalbank.com on your computer or mobile device and get started today. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. When you need to rely on a nursing facility for the care of a loved one, wouldn't it be comforting to know that the owner is providing the care? I'm Stephanie Bean, and at Medicalogist Coffeeville, we are. Skilled nursing services, rehabilitation, adult daycare, and much more are available. Visit us at medicalogist.com or at 720 West 1st Coffeeville. Medicalogist Coffeeville, we serve and enhance the lives of others with caring hands. At CRMC Medical Group, our primary care physicians and providers focus on ways to keep you and your family in good health, as well as care for them when they're not. Our family medicine and women's health physicians are accepting new patients. We have convenient office locations in Coffeeville and Independence with extended and Saturday hours in Coffeeville. If you need a physician or need to make an appointment, please call 620-688-6566. That's 620-688-6566. Why pay more when you can pay less at Gillum Liquor and Coffeeville with ELP Everyday Low Prices. Now shop Filet Bourbon and Rye, 750 size, only $26.99. Or proper 12 Irish Whiskey and Apple Irish Whiskey, only $25.99. Gillum's has great wine selections too. Like Barefoot and Pink Moscato, 1.5 liters, only $13.99. The 750 size of Ballatory Grand Spumante, just $8.99. And all flavors of Stella Rose 750 is only $12.98. ELP Everyday Low Prices. The largest selection, coldest cooler, and helpful folks are at Gillum Liquor. 1713 West 8th Street in Coffeeville. Make your home more comforting with help from Derailed Commodity. Update your flooring with the area's largest selection of in-stock carpet, luxury vinyl plank, tile, area rugs, and more in many styles, brands, and colors. New furniture always brightens a home. We have a great selection of furniture, including sofa sets, recliners, and mattresses. Economy to premium, in stock, and ready to brighten your home. Shop now at your local derailed commodity flooring and furniture. Braselton in Independence, Kansas, and Joplin in Butler, Missouri. Helping you move forward. That's what... After CCC, she, plan she plans to attend Emporia State University to get her degree in education and minor in coaching. One more time, folks, Aaliyah Johnson. <laughs> Up next, from dance, Jade Marshall. Jade is from Bartlesville, Oklahoma. After CCC, she is planning to get her MLT certification and work in hospital laboratories. One more time, folks, Jade Marshall. Next up, we have Damaris Labrador. Damaris is from Topeka, Kansas. 
She is planning to transfer to a four-year university to continue her academic and dance career. One more time, Damaris Labrador. Next up, we have Macy Reed. Macy is from Galena, Kansas. She plans to attend Pittsburgh State University to double major in communications and art with a minor in dance. Macy Reed. Ladies and gentlemen, next up, Debriana Bell. Deb is from Wichita, Kansas. She plans to transfer to Prairie View A&M and get a degree in psychology. Debriana Bell. Next up, Sarah Washington. Sarah is from Flint, Michigan. After CCC, Sarah is planning to transfer to Michigan State University. One more time, Sarah Washington. And lastly, Mia Garrett. Mia is from Paola, Kansas. After CCC, she is planning to attend Pittsburgh State University to major in marketing and minor in dance. One more time, Mia Garrett. And one more time, let's give it up for all of these sophomores from the Spirit Squad. A little message from Coach Kinsey. Coach Kinsey thanks you so much for your hard work and dedication to your team. Let's hear it one more Back time. Back here from Coach. Ellis Hall as we're in between game one and game two of Coffeeville Community College's doubleheader against Seward County today. I'm Shane Neal. It's US 98 and our YouTube channel. Taking a little bit longer in between games today because it is sophomore day. We're honoring all the sophomores here today and having a great time doing it. Let's go over the final stats before Tony Turner joins us here in just a moment. Uh, first for Seward County, who comes up short after playing a heck of a fourth quarter. 32% from the floor, 34% from three, 72% from the free throw line. For the Ravens, 47% from the floor, 54% from three, and 80% at the free throw line. Leading scores for Seward, 26 for Diara Allen, 18 for Halima Salat, six, or nine for Kylie Hunt, excuse me, and six for Deshanti Thomas as well. For the Ravens, 18 led the way for Mackenzie Davis, 14 for Kennedy Roach, 13 for Bailey Lehman, also 11 from Kylie Ortiz, 16 rebounds today for Jordan Connor. She did a great job on the offensive glass all afternoon. Ravens improve to 18 and 11 on the season and now 14 and 9 in conference play they lock up the five seed they will play the 12 seed whether that be garden or northwest kansas tech we'll wait to see who that opponent is coming up obviously after the conclusion of the season sophomore day here at coffeeville community college we're going to step away for a few moments when we come back tony turner joins us we're getting ready for this one again a little bit more of an extended break in between games. We've still got about 18 minutes until tip, but we hope you'll hang out with us here for game two of our doubleheader. We're back in a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. Tony Turner joins us next. You'll find ELP everyday low prices. Now shop Gillum for Tito's Vodka, just $20.99. Gold or silver Bacardi Rum, $20.99. And Captain Morgan Spice Rum, just $26.99. Why not try Kahlua, save $8, only $39.99. Sky Vodka, $24.99. And the 750 size of Blade & Bow Whiskey, only $45.99. ELP everyday low prices. The area's largest selection, coldest cooler, and friendly, helpful service. You'll find it Gillum's Retail Liquor, 1713 West 8th in Coffeeville. Make your home more comforting with help from Derailed Commodity. Update your flooring with the area's largest selection of in-stock carpet, luxury vinyl plank, tile, area rugs, and more in many styles, brands, and colors. New furniture always brightens a home. We have a great selection of furniture, including sofa sets, recliners, and mattresses. Economy to premium, in stock and ready to brighten your home. Shop now at your local Derailed Commodity Flooring and Furniture, Brazelton in Independence, Kansas, and Joplin and Butler, Missouri. Helping you move forward. That's what Coffeeville Community College does. Whether you want to increase your ability to advance at work, learning to earn a two-year, or just want to expand your horizons, 
Coffeyville Community College can help. And CCC is flexible, offering a traditional college setting. Fast eight-week classes or even online classes. CCC can meet your needs your way. Call CCC at 620-251-7700 or visit them online at coffeyville.edu. We are Coffeyville Community College. This is Jeff Edwards from Romans Outdoor Power. At Kubota, we want to help you deliver a job done right. That's why we want you to know that new Kubota inventory is arriving daily. You have work to do. We have the reliable, durable, and versatile lineup to help you do it. Visit Romans Outdoor Power today for all your equipment needs. Come see Mike and Kevin in Bartlesville or Jeff and Chance in Independence. Lady Ravens win and clinch the five seed in the Jayhawk Regional Tournament. They beat Seward County 76-66 this afternoon. I'm Shane Neal here on US 98 and YouTube. I'm joined by head coach Tony Turner. Coach, congrats on the win. And first of all, I got to point out, looking very good in the suit today. Well, I, I told one of my sophomores, Kanaya, that she asked me earlier, Coach, do you wear a suit? And I'm like, only on sophomore night. So I did it in honor of, of, of Kanaya Sharks. <laughs> <laughs> Love to hear it. Uh, Coach, first thing I noticed today, uh, how, Mackenzie Davis was sensational. Got the start today for sophomore day, and she delivered big shots, had 10 points early in this one, ended up with a team high 18. She's been getting better and better on the offensive end as the year's gone on. Yes, you know, Mackenzie's been one of those kids that, you know, I, you know, I had a coach reach out to me last night about her, and I just like, you know, Coach, I kind of got in her head a little bit, kind of had too high of expect expectations for her, and now we just kind of like, hey, just play your game, relax, and She's been in the gym more and starting to buy into it. And she understands what it was all about now. And, you know, hopefully she's been our piece that we need to step up because she's a very talented player. She absolutely is. And another sophomore that stepped up big in a big way today. Coach, this uh, rebounding battle was very physical inside. 39-34, a lot of offensive rebounds for Seward County. But maybe the biggest contributor in that regard, Jordan Connor, 16 rebounds today. She was big on the glass. Yes, I thought she played really well tonight. She was going after balls. I mean, she was jumping up there like she was 6'5". I mean, all you've seen is those arms come out of nowhere. And, you know, she's always, you know, not the best scorer, but she is a kid that, that knows her role and you're going to do all the little things right. And, and I'm, just, I'm just proud of her that she came out and, and just played her butt off. Coach Bailey Lehman, not her most efficient day shooting, but it felt like it was one of her more clutch days shooting the ball. She hit a couple threes in this one, but it felt like every three she hit was a big one to stop momentum. She definitely, C2 is a really good shooter, and, you know, she's starting to understand our offense. You know, she was out for those games early. She's starting to understand what it's all about, and C2 is just, you know, buying into what we got going on. And, you know, I said, you'll score more, and your, your points will be, your points, your percentage will be a lot better if you just buy into this, and she's bought into it. Coach, six important sophomores to your program, and they get the win in their final regular season home game, and they clinch a playoff home game as well. So they will get uh, one more chance here to play in front of the fans at Nellis Hall. But uh, always good to, uh, you know, on sophomore day, always feel the pressure to go away with a win in their last home game. Uh, uh, congrats on getting it done here today. Hey, thank you. And, you know, I tell you, I tell them always at the beginning of the year, we coach from 1 through 15. And just for these moments, man, I, I'll, honestly, before that game started, I wasn't even worried about it. And I know Seward County is a very talented team but was not even worried about that starting lineup because they all work hard. They've all been involved in the system. And, you know, we will miss these those sophomores. They've been a, a class act. And, you know, it makes you want to keep coaching. And you always want to just continue to get kids like that. And, I mean, they're all going to be successful. I mean, that, that's just a, a great group of kids to be around. Absolutely. Coach, one more, t uh, one more trip on the road to wrap up the regular season. And then you start your championship push right here in Nellis Hall. Congrats on the win. We look forward to talking to you next week. All right, thank you. Absolutely. We'll be back in just a few moments to get you ready for game number two. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 